Hi, guys. In this part I will show you how to make notes that follow the guitar rhythm perfectly. We will use a special editor for this, it's called Envoy Editor. It was created by me, for Music Boy 3D game. down the block i'm in the city skate chasing down a break out here to meet my fate every day is this editor is free and can be used by anyone for any other rhythm based game and for any game engine first let's load the audio file second we need to load map file. This was an example. Now, let's open the audio file from our game. And create the map for this song. First, I detect the tempo. Listen to music and press this button. Let's add a new track. Track means an instrument part. It can be added to follow guitar, vocal, drums or other music instrument. Here, we can adjust the start position of audio. It will make the mapping perfect. Good. Now I'm writing the rhythm structure of the guitar. Just click on the line inside the cell.
That's it. This is the correct rhythm of the guitar. In the same manner we can add tracks for other instruments like drums and others. But for this game tutorial, we will use it a little bit different. We create a track for each line in the game, left, center and right. All three will represent the rhythm of the guitar, but it's different parts. Like this. To save the map, we need to set title, artist and download link, free or paid. Save the map file to the game project folder. You can open the map file in any text editor and take a look. It's just a JSON file. As you can see, the map contains information about bars and notes. Notes have position and length information. This is what we will consume in the game. So, let's create the load map function. It will load and parse the file. Now let's calculate the params using the map data. I've update tempo and start position. Let's test it. Tempo and start position works. Now we need to spawn the notes using the map data.
Let's test it. We need to adjust the space between the notes a little bit. Let's increase the bar length in meters value. It will solve the problem. It's better now. Let's increase road mesh length too. I'm adjusting the camera far parameter to hide the notes that are very far from us. Now, I'm adding the animation player. It will allow us to increase music volume smoothly when game is started. Check out this feature. In Go.Engine any property of any node can be animated. This is very cool. Okay, now let's add more bars to the map and test the final result.
just perfect.